Ever wonder why tiny planes don't use jet engines? Here's the thing about turboprops. They're basically jet engines that spin propellers instead of creating thrust with its exhaust gases. They work great on medium and large aircraft, but shrinking them down creates some problems. Problem 1. The clearance gaps. There's always a small gap between the spinning turbine blades and the engine casing. That's just how gas turbines are built. But when you shrink everything down, these gaps don't shrink much. They stay roughly the same size. Now suddenly, the gap is huge compared to the tiny blades and you're losing a lot of air pressure through these leaks. It's like trying to drink through a straw with holes in it. Problem number two. Physics gets weird at small scales. Those tiny compressor blades create something called a low Reynolds number. Basically, air starts acting thicker and stickier around small objects. This creates more drag and makes the blades way less efficient. The result? Small turboprops are fuel-hungry monsters. That's why your local flight school still uses piston engines from the 1940s. They're just better at this size. 